Since we can't speak to our hamsters, it's important that we learn their body language in order to figure out what they're trying to tell us. If you're new to owning hamsters, you may also be unsure if a behavior is normal or not. So today we're going over 23 behaviors your hamster may display. The first behavior is bar biting, and this behavior is often acknowledged as a normal hamster behavior, when in fact it's actually just a commonly seen behavior due to misinformation when it comes to caring for hamsters properly. Bar biting is when a hamster is excessively chewing at the metal bars of a wire enclosure. This is a stress and boredom behavior typically caused by lack of enrichment and or a too small of an enclosure. Sometimes bar biting can become a habit of your hamster trying to get your attention to take them out or if you've previously fed them treats or food through the bars. But regardless of the reason, when your hamster is bar biting, you need to figure out the cause and find a solution, as continued bar biting can cause broken and misaligned teeth. The best solution if your hamster is bar biting is to upgrade their enclosure and as well as get rid of using wire enclosures altogether. The next behavior is monkey barring. This is another stress and boredom behavior, usually related to lack of enrichment and too small of an enclosure. This is when the hamster is climbing the bars of the enclosure and hanging off of them. This isn't just a hamster climbing to get to another level. They are actively climbing all of the bars, hanging off of them, trying to find a way to escape. Monkey barring is a dangerous behavior because hamsters are not actively good climbers. Oftentimes when they are hanging off the top of the enclosure, they will just let go and this can cause injuries from falling. Once again, just like bar biting, it would be in the best interest of the hamster to upgrade the enclosure and not use a wire enclosure. Cage pacing. This is another stress and boredom behavior, but typically found in hamsters who are living in aquariums. Now this is when the hamster is pacing back and forth in the aquarium. This behavior also is typically seen in a lot of zoo animals when they are stressed and bored as well. Wall scaling. This is another stress and boredom behavior, but typically done in aquariums due to the fact that there are no bars for them to climb. So instead, the hamster is jumping up against the glass aquarium. It's important that if your hamster is displaying any of these stress and boredom behaviors, you jump to action to find a solution, whether that be upgrading the enclosure or providing your hamster with more enrichment to keep them busy. Backflipping and stargazing. This is when a hamster is uncontrollably doing backflips or spinning constantly in a circle. This is seen to be a neurological disorder, but also could possibly indicate your hamster has an ear infection. So when you notice this behavior, it's important that you go to your vet immediately. Hissing and screaming. When a hamster hisses or screams at you, this is a very defensive hamster who has been scared or spooked in some way. When they do hiss and scream, it is a very unsettling noise and it usually is a bite warning, so do not stick your hand any closer. Open mouth. This looks like a hamster who is hissing or screaming at you, except no sound is coming out. Typically, this may happen if you accidentally startle, spook, or scare your hamster, and it's usually a bit of a warning that they potentially are going to bite next. Squeaking. Some hamsters are more vocal than others, and you may notice that they seem to talk a little bit more than your average hamster with little squeaks. Sometimes if you have multiple hamsters in the same room, this may be hamsters trying to kind of do a little mating call or communicate with each other. Jimmy's white. But if you notice that your hamster has never squeaked before and all of a sudden they're making squeaking noises, this could indicate that something is wrong or that they're in pain. 
teeth chattering. Now there are two different types of teeth chattering and they both mean different things. The first one is a very, very harsh teeth chattering sound. And this typically would happen when you do something your hamster doesn't like, like if you decide to wake them up during the day. They likely are going to be a little bit upset and you'll notice that they're going to make that harsh teeth chatter noise because they're unhappy. The second type of teeth chattering is a very, very soft teeth chatter. And this typically would happen when your hamster is just maybe grooming themselves or they're eating their favorite food. This indicates that they are happy. The next behavior is freezing. This is when a hamster is previously doing something and all of a sudden they freeze in time like a statue or like they've just had a war flashback. Usually when this happens, it's because something has either caught their eye or they've heard a certain sound and they're trying to assess the situation as to whether or not they need to be afraid and run away. Grooming. Hamsters keep themselves clean by grooming. Very similar to cats, you may notice a hamster cleaning their entire body very thoroughly. You may even notice them nibbling at their coat and washing their own feet. This is completely normal. Though there are some hamsters who do over groom themselves and this is accompanied with fur loss. If you think this is the case, definitely go visit your local exotic vet. Itching. Just like you and me, hamsters also get itches from time to time. A lot of the times you'll see them using their back foot to give themselves a good scratch. This should not be confused with a hamster who is suffering from parasites or other skin conditions that are constantly itching and biting themselves. Your hamster's tail is sticking straight up. This is a behavior commonly seen in female Syrian hamsters. Usually what happens is the owner goes to pet the hamster and they freeze and their tail and butt goes up in the air. This is not an indication that your hamster is enjoying you petting their butt. This is a female hamster, assuming you are a male hamster trying to mount and then breed with her. Female hamsters go into heat every four to five days, and what heat is, is basically just the time that the hamster is capable of breeding. If your hamster is in heat and you pet them and their tail goes up, do not continue to keep petting them. You are giving them the wrong message. If your hamster is in heat, you still are allowed to interact with them. Just avoid touching their bottom or back. Scent marking. This is when you notice your hamster rubbing their sides on objects all around them. This is mostly seen in Syrian hamsters due to their scent glands being located on either side of their hips. They do this to mark things to claim as their own. Hamsters in the wild also would do this when they are leaving their burrows in order to help them find their way back home. Some hamsters may scent mark more than others, and if you don't notice your hamster scent marking at all, there's nothing to worry about. Stuffing their cheeks. Hamsters have two pouches located on each side of their cheeks, and these are used for temporarily storing food and nesting, and these can extend halfway down to the length of their body. Unpouching cheeks. This is simply a hamster just emptying out what they've collected either in their nest or another safe area. This is not to be confused with throwing up. Hamsters are not animals that are capable of throwing up. If you ever notice your hamster unpouches all the contents of their cheeks onto you when they're being handled, this can indicate that the hamster is uncomfortable or scared. This has happened when I've brought a hamster to the vet and their cheeks were full and they immediately spit out all of these seeds that they brought. Usually this is trying to distract whatever the predator is and it also makes them lighter to be able to run away. Burrowing. This is when your hamster is digging into the bedding. Hamsters are natural burrowers, so it's really important that we give them deep substrates because they can create these really cool, long, intricate burrows. Laying flat on their wheel or in their cage. This usually either means that your hamster is trying to cool down or they may have just fallen asleep in their enclosure like that. If you notice your hamster doing this, just be sure to check the overall room's temperature and make sure that it is not above 25 degrees Celsius to prevent heat stroke. 
Your hamster's ears are back and they're close to the ground. This may indicate that your hamster feels nervous if they've just been placed in a new enclosure or in a open space. They may feel a little bit vulnerable and not quite comfortable with the area yet. Yawning. Don't be alarmed. Hamster yawns can be a little bit terrifying sometimes, but this just indicates that your hamster has just woken up or they're a little bit sleepy. Nibbling. Because hamsters lack good eyesight, they depend a lot on their other senses like their hearing, their sense of smell, their whiskers, and they also use their mouths a lot to test things out to see whether or not they're edible or whether or not they can potentially bring something back as nesting. So you may notice your hamster nibble you or nibble a little bit of your clothes. This is a normal behavior and usually not something to be concerned about. Biting. Keep in mind, hamsters are prey animals. Their only defenses to protect themselves is either hissing and screaming or biting. If your hamster has just bit you, you potentially have done something to upset them, spook them, or scare them. Or they may even be territorial over their area or things. And last but not least, licking you. This is a behavior I've been asked a lot about and I don't have too much experience with it, but I do know that some people have hamsters who will gladly lick their hands. This is either down to the fact that you may have some salt content from just sweat or maybe you ate something salty or your hamster is being affectionate towards you. And those are all of the most commonly displayed hamster behaviors. Some hamsters may display more behaviors than others. This is completely fine. All hamsters are going to be different. Do keep in mind that if you do notice your hamster suddenly changes behavior, that it is important that you visit your local exotic vet because this can indicate that something is wrong with them. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.